Narasimhan Ram born the 4th of May 1945 is an Indian journalist and prominent member of the Kasturi family that controls the Hindu group of publications Ram was the managing director of the Hindu since 1977 and its editor in chief since the 27th of June 2003 until the 18th of January 2012 Ram also headed the other publications of the Hindu group such as Frontline, the Hindu Business Line and Sportstar, and has been awarded the Padma Bhushan by the Government of India and Sri Lanka Ratna by the Government of Sri Lanka. He is referred to as a left-wing editor and known to believe in left communist ideology. Subsequent to changes in the editorial and business of the Hindu, on the 21st of October 2013, N. Ram has become chairman of Kasturi and Sons Limited and publisher of the Hindu. Early life and education Ram was born on 4 May 1945 in Madras, British India. He was the eldest son of G. Narasimhan who served as managing director of the Hindu from 1959 to 1977. Ram is a great-grandson of S. Kasturi Ranga Iyengar, the patriarch of the Kasturi family. Ram graduated from Loyola College, Chennai, with a bachelor's degree in arts in 1964, received a master's degree from Presidency College, Chennai, in 1966, and later an M.S. in Comparative Journalism from the Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism. He actively participated in the students' politics. He was vice president of the Students' Federation of India SFI, which is politically linked to the Communist Party of India Marxist, at the time of its formation in 1970 in Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Journalism and career Beginning his career in the Hindu as an associate editor in 1977, Ram was made the Washington correspondent in 1980. His association with the news magazine Frontline dates back to 1984, when the magazine was started. N. Ram has become famous as a journalist during his writings in exposing Bofors scandal during the reign of former Prime Minister of India Rajiv Gandhi. Prior to his position as the editor-in-chief of the Hindu Daily, Ram had served as the editor of Frontline magazine and Sportstar between 1991 and 2003. Towards the end of a bitter family feud, Ram stepped down as editor-in-chief and publisher of the Hindu group on 19 January 2012. In consequence, Siddharth Varadarajan, editor, The Hindu, succeeded him, with effect from 19 January 2012, as editor of The Hindu responsible for the selection of news under the Press and Registration of Books PRB Act of 1867. D. Sampath Kumar, editor, Business Line, R. Vijaya Sankar, editor, Frontline, and Nirmal Shikhar, editor, Sportstar, took over, with effect from 19 January 2012, as editors responsible for the selection of news under the Press and Registration of Books PRB Act of 1867 in these group publications. K. Balaji, Managing Director of Kasturi & Sons Limited, the public limited company that brings out the Hindu group of publications, succeeded Mr. Ram as publisher of all the group publications. Subsequent to changes in the editorial and business of The Hindu on 21 October 2013, N. Ram has become chairman of Kasturi and Sons Limited and publisher of The Hindu and group publications. During his younger days, N. Ram also started a journal called Radical Review, with his friends, P. Chidambaram and Prakash Karat. <laughs> Awards and recognition Ram's contribution to journalism has been recognized by a number of awards. These include the Asian Investigative Journalist of the Year 1990 award conferred by the Press Foundation of Asia at the One Asia Assembly, Bofors case, the disciplined application of his journalistic idealism and the impact of his revelations on the Indian political scene, the B.D. Goenka, 1989, shared with Chitra Sebramaniam, in the interest of the nation. An XLRI's first JRD Tata Award for Business Ethics, awarded at the Institute's 46th Annual Convocation at Jamshedpur on 23 March 2003. The highest national honour conferred by Sri Lanka on non-nationals is the Sri Lanka Ratna Award. N. Ram the editor-in-chief of four Chennai-based publications became the first Indian national to be awarded that honour on 14 November 2005. 
N. Ram has been chosen for the prestigious Raja Ram Mohan Roy Award, presented by the Press Council of India (PCI) for his outstanding contribution towards journalism. The councils announced on November 5, 2018. The award will be presented on November 16 on the occasion of the National Press Day. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family dispute. Ram has been party to a few public familial disputes, including an infamous spat with his uncle G. Kasturi in 1989, when the latter resisted publishing stories of the Bofors scandal, which the former played a significant part in bringing into the public domain in collaboration with Chitra Sebramaniam. Controversies <inaudible> 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 On 25 January 2012, Mr. K.C. Palaniswamy a former AIADMK Member of Parliament registered a complaint against Ram and eight others with the Chennai police, accusing them of a 400-acre land grab scam, worth nearly 3 billion rupees. Ram has filed for anticipatory bail in the case and was granted the same. In 2012, shortly after Ram was honored by his alma mater, the Graduate School of Journalism at Columbia University, Chitra Sebramaniam alleged that he was responsible for compromising the identity of their source on the Bofors story and that she had not received her due as the journalist who broke the story. Ram denied the allegations. Topic personal life Ram's first wife Susan was an English woman who came to India as a research student. Like Ram, she was and remains an atheist with a leftist perspective on politics. After their marriage, Susan worked as a teacher, a freelance journalist, an editor for Oxford University Press Publications in India and a television presenter. As a husband and wife team, they published the first volume of a biography on R. K. Narayan, the eminent Indian writer. Ram and Susan's daughter, Vidya Ram, became a journalist and graduated at the top of the class at her father's alma mater. She also won a Pulitzer Fellowship, was an intern at the New York Times, a reporter at Forbes, and as the European correspondent at Business Line. After the divorce from Susan, Ram married Mariam Chandy, a Malayali Christian. It was Mariam's second marriage. Mariam comes from a prosperous family that owned the now defunct Travancore National and Keelan Bank, liquidated in 1938. Has worked in advertising agencies, HTA and OM. Mariam Ram is presently the managing director of TNQ Books and Journals, that she founded in Chennai in 1998. The company does editing, pagination and design for scientific, technical and medical publishers of the US, the UK and the European Union. As of 2008, the company had an annual turnover of 50 crore rupees and employs 1200 staff. During his youth, N. Ram played cricket and was the wicket-keeper batsman for the Tamil Nadu state team in the Ranji Trophy.